Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back. Or Tuesday, I guess. Or if you're still on vacation and you don't know what day it is, you know what? That's cool, too. Welcome in, everybody. Charlie, Dragonic Moon, Mochi, Brielle, Radioactive Blaze, Paper Flare, Checkmate, Blind Zombie Face. I have not... that. That's scary. Uh, Flamestar, welcome to Parsnip. Thanks so much. I'll add you to the list here. We're gonna... I, I wrote a little... Uh, and hi, Bex. I wrote a little little script that just pulls a, a new name every minute. Um, so I don't know who any of the chickens are gonna be, except uh, the very first one is gonna be Danny after my wife. I think it's only fair. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty chill. Um, I think eventually it's gonna get a little weird once we start scaling up. Oh, I'm, I was recording something else, so let's uh, let's go ahead and tell it to actually record Stardew. Maybe. There we go. All right, cool. All right. Um, yeah. So I think this is gonna start off pretty chill, uh, and might eventually be. A problem <laughs> uh, and I don't know where that that tipping point is on the scale so I'm very excited to find out I'm very interested in what this might look like uh, normally I just uh, are we using any mods or cheats I haven't decided yet that's something we're gonna figure out in the next couple of minutes here uh, normally I just pop in here and I have a preset for myself but I don't this is not something that I think I want to do so I think, oh my god, I forgot about <laughs> Sanit. <laughs> what else is it? What other horrors lie in my pre-made characters? Nothing, nothing. Sanic, slime. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> uh, I don't think we'll probably play as Sanic today. Although it's tempting. Uh, I think... Uh, I think we'll just randomize a little bit and then try and try and figure out something. Sanic is glorious. Sanic was from a, a like a viewer speedrun suggestion thing. Uh, but anyway, to answer the mod slash cheats question, uh, it's possible I might give myself some money to get started just so we don't spend the first stream here just like fishing and making money. Uh, I haven't really decided on that, so I'd definitely like to hear some input from you all. Uh, but I'm just gonna randomize a few times. Oh my gosh, I'm therm. I don't think I want to be therm tonight. Maybe later. All right, this is this is good. This is good. I can work with this. Um, I think we'll go on the beach farm. It's either that or standard. And since we're not gonna really have any crops, I think this is a good opportunity to uh, to use the beach farm. It's not one that I get all the time. What do we think for a name for this guy? Well, his favorite thing has got to probably be chickens. Um, kind of looks like a, a Craig to me. Cluckberry. Oh my gosh. The the pun. See, I am I am not <laughs> the Colonel. <laughs> oh my god, the puns. That's not my strong suit. Not my strong suit at all. Uh, wait, we should think of something funnier for this. Because if we ever get the egg cut scene, it's, it's got to be better than, than that. So we'll do our favorite thing is chickens, because I don't plan on really ever getting a star drop. Um, Henry. Henry's come to visit us. No, I really like the colonel. <laughs> I actually really, really like that. All right. The... Colonel. Why is it spelled that way? All right, perfect. Uh, farm name. <laughs> there's no way there's enough room for finger licking farm. Oh my god, there is. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. All right, cool. That seems that seems good. I like this. The Nugget Factory. That'd be pretty good, too. I'm pretty happy with Finger Licking Farm, though. 
herbs and spices as our favorite thing. That's true. We, it's not really all about the chickens. Herbs and spices. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I think we'll probably skip the animal, to be honest, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. We can't get, like, a... Oh, wait, wait. If we're doing the kernel, if we're actually doing this... We should probably mix it up a little bit, huh? At least to like that. Colonel Sanders, what do you even look like, my guy? Um, can we get... No, I can't get glasses and a beard. Although he doesn't really have a beard. He has like a mustache and a... I think we... I don't know. I think I got to go with... Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, perfect, but that's fine. All right, we got uh, the Colonel here on Finger Licking Farm. A white suit. Um, I don't... Mm, I mean... Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see. What can we do for a white suit? Um, do a white shirt is 39. Bex, welcome back. 16 months. Good golly. That is a long time. No, no, no. Isn't there a chicken shirt? Oh, you know what? Is that a little bow tie? Does he have a bow tie? I feel like he kind of looks like that, right? All right, that, that'll work. And then we just got to change the pants as well. That's maybe a little too much. Let's, uh, let's bring it down just a hair, just to kind of match the... All right, you know what? I think we're doing good. Uh, I think we... <laughs> I think we're off to the races here. Okay, so the next question before we get started is um, I would like to hear from y'all. What do you think about just uh, slapping some money into our pocket and getting to the the point where we just uh, buy a coop and start with one chicken? Or do you think I should actually play for the first few days? I could still get a coop and get chickens probably by the end of the first week. It would just mean a little bit of a slower start, and I don't really care either way so i'm just kind of curious what people are feeling money is good more fun with the chickens <clears throat> four thousand gold start for the cost of the chicken coop earn your materials start with a coop and a couple chickens i like the idea of starting with the money and then just grabbing all the the wood and stone right away that doesn't break my heart at all i think maybe we'll do that hey maya welcome in so yeah let's see we need um we need four thousand gold and then we'll need what like five how much are chickens even are they 500 or are they 800 chickens are 800 so i'll just give myself like five thousand I will just give myself 5,000 gold. That'll be enough to get me one chicken, a coop, and a little bit of hay. And then for the rest, uh, all the materials and everything else, we'll just have to deal with it. And I think that looks good. Are we happy with the beach farm for the kernel? Does that feel right? Does that feel good for the kernel? I mean, I'm going to just... Go, yeah, I'm just going to send it because I don't get to use the beach farm as often anymore. So we'll go, we'll go for it. I love it. All right, let's go. I say as I'm just going to like load in and start giving myself money and stuff. So yeah, happy new year, by the way, to everyone, because this is the first time I've been back since the year started. Um, my wife generally has Monday evening shifts, um, but with the, the way Mondays have gone the past few weeks, that has not been the case. Uh, let's see. So I need to get... About there. Fabulous. 5,000 gold. We can start getting some materials. And I don't feel too bad about that. Oops. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, I don't really care about these parsnip seeds. I would have probably just sold those. Oops. Would have just sold those if I wasn't just going to give myself money. So I'll just get rid of them. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's see what happens here. 
Did anybody? I haven't been like I haven't been live since Christmas, so I have to ask my my customary post Christmas questions. Uh, who in chat thinks they got the the best Christmas gift and the worst one? That's what I would like to hear. It's always interesting uh, to find out what other people got. For me, Danny got me a like a fall jacket, like a lighter jacket, and a, a Keurig for my office. Those are my two things, and I got her a ridiculously heavy blanket, like 18 pounds, I want to say it is, um, and it's it's such a chore to move around anywhere, <laughs> uh, but it's really nice. It's super cozy, and it's like, it's, um, what's the word? It's like knit, I guess. It's not knit, but it's like chunky, maybe is a better word. Um, so it's not very warm either. Also, marry Sam on this run because his hair looks the most like a chicken. That's a good shout. I like that. So, we definitely want to try and get our coop started today, right? Because if we do that, Marnie will have... Um, Marnie will be ready to actually sell us a chicken on Wednesday. Got new pots and pans. That's actually pretty awesome. I would be pretty happy with new pots and pans, but um, I know maybe not everybody feels that way. Um, let's see. I think I'll maybe just like keep everything in my inventory. Do I want to just sell like fiber and sap? I guess not. I can hang on to it. Worst, one of my presents were a set of books I already own. Nice. Congratulations. Gift cards for various places. Lego flower for my new office. Awesome. Congratulations. Ooh, that's not a good start. Let's hope we can find something to eat in the bus stop. Otherwise, I'm just going to go to bed, I think. <laughs> I don't celebrate, but my love gifted me a Switch and got my puppers some new puffer coats. Wow. Uh, that's a pretty good day for not actually opening presents, I would say. Keep of art supplies, which was so good because art supplies are so expensive. That's very fair. Jexa, Jessica, Aaron, A, thank you for the 99 cent super chat. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I think, you know what? I'll just throw that name in the, the queue for today. Seems fair to me. Um, well, I don't really have much energy. I kind of didn't really think about how I shouldn't be cutting down all the stumps and I should just do the, the trees themselves. Because I don't know that we're actually going to get this done in uh, one day here, needing all the, the supplies. But we'll check the garbage, check the beach, see if we can find any uh, food or anything we can eat or whatever. I don't really need a flower. Although I could give it to someone. We could give it to Sam. What are you doing here? This would be cool if it was an artifact. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll go get that money. We also need stone, right? We absolutely do, yeah. Have to catch a VOD. Hope you have a great stream. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we do need stone. There might be crates. That's so true. We're on the beach farm. We are on the beach farm. Well, let's drop this off first uh, and get, what is that, like 300 gold or 250? I don't really remember. <clears throat> Maybe start befriending Jody. Oh, Caroline? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I definitely, I'm fine with suffering after we get started. It's just, I don't want to be suffering before we are even going anywhere, you know? But once we actually have a chicken... The only money I really want to make is going to be from chickens. Um, and I, yeah, that'll probably take a little while, which is fine. Other than that, though, I'm not going to, like, restrict myself to not using the mines or anything. Um, I probably won't go fishing just because I don't care or, or need the things I could get from fishing, I guess. So we probably won't go fishing. Uh, don't see this, Sam. Dang it. Well, I haven't even met you, so I guess I don't care. Hey, buddy. 
Uh, well, not today. I need this, actually. Sorry. Hi, Sam. Good to meet you. Very, very nice to meet you as well. Chimpkins, welcome in, Shania. Uh, but anyway, yeah, all of the money that I am going to make on this farm, I would like to have come from the chickens themselves. You're okay with suffering? You can marry Shane? Well, we wouldn't even need to marry Shane. We could just um, get him up to, what is it, eight hearts? So... But yeah, Shane is suffering. That's that's true. So if I remember from like the no energy farm that we were doing, a lot of the grass starts down here. And there's a lot of different sections of it, so it should actually start piling up pretty quickly. But I'm just going to do a quick loop looking for some chests eight hearts for shane yeah shane would be i guess an even more obvious marriage choice than sam given that he is legitimately like has the most ties to chickens of all of the marriage candidates easily all right not so much um I don't think we're getting our coop started today, which is fine. I, I'm fine with doing it tomorrow. But I'm at least going to try and get some forage and, and see what I can get taken care of as far as resources today. Take chicken farm all the way to perfection <laughs> for golden eggs. That doesn't sound very fun. Uh, and while I do a lot of things that aren't fun for a little while... I don't think I could do something that's not fun for that long. I'm totally okay with, like, uh, a little bit of casual masochism, you know what I mean? But that, I think that might be beyond me. Uh, kind of on that same note, I guess, in case anybody was wondering and you're not in the Discord, I think I'm going to just put down the um, da, 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 the the lockdown farm that I was working on for a little while for now. Uh, I know that we, like, we, you and I, all of us together, decided that it was going to be okay to leave the farm if we used the warp totems. But, I don't know, it just kind of didn't feel right. Uh, and I was looking at my file and thinking, like, I'm just way further than I should be and... I don't like that I did that. It kind of ruins the concept that I had in my mind when I started. So I'm just going to let that one go. We'll see. Maybe we'll come back to that one or maybe I'll start it over or do something else with it. But I don't know. I'm willing to just, uh, just put it down now, I guess, instead of just trying to force it. So no nuggies emoji here yeah i don't know that i have any more emoji slots i guess i could pull something out that the emojis aren't like super frequently used either way so i could get the little chicken nugget emoji here only problem with that is i definitely stole the assets from adobe without paying for a license so i mean i don't want them to come after me you know what i mean uh i know this is pivoting but are you gonna play dave the diver again Mm, I don't know if I'll play it on stream, but I'm actually planning on probably doing some recording of Dave the Diver. It was really fun. It's uh, it's out there. That is an odd game for sure, but I had a I had a blast playing it. Can't believe he escaped the farm and immediately caught Junimo nineteen. Rip. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get uh, another shot at that one sometime, but. Not right now. I don't know that we're going to get a hundred stone off of uh, the rocks around our farm either. We might not be able to get that much until we get into the mines either way. So, Although I could... I have a little bit of money. I could start buying some. All right, what are we at? 282? That's pretty good. One more then. If you have fun tonight, you gotta head to work. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right. 301. 
Let's see what we can do for rocks. I don't think I've ever counted how many stone the beach farm starts with, but we're going to learn. We are going to learn. Too bad that BTTV or FFZ doesn't have as much of a presence. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I like about YouTube um, more than Twitch. And I would say on the whole, I like YouTube more than Twitch. But it is cool to have, I don't know, like um, a sense of like follow, not even follow through. I'm, I'm looking for a word that I can't find, but mm, I don't know. You, you can fairly reliably expect that you'll be able to see the same emotes across not all channels, but quite a few, you know what I mean? So that's something that's kind of cool. Um, moderation also is a lot better on Twitch. Not really an issue for a channel of my size, but I know that that can be a huge headache. However, I would say on the whole, other than bot issues, we don't really have a lot of problems that require moderation. But uh, I think that comes with... I wouldn't say the territory of playing, like, cozy games, but maybe I would. Okay, what are we at? We're at... 73 stone and I think I only need to get up to 100 right continuity thank you so much oh my gosh thank you Bex I appreciate that <laughs> like YouTube better because it's easier for my smart TV cohesion that's also a great great option yeah I was thinking, what I was really thinking was like a standardized experience. But yeah, those are basically exactly what I was looking for. Nothing. Uh, we have, what, 73. We need like 60 energy to get everything that we need if we're going to build this today. Hey, that's a good start. Okay, actually, I think that'll be enough. I think that'll be just slightly more than enough if I don't mess around too much. Consistency? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, What do we got here for a quest? Let's take a look at this. Want some rocks? Sam wants a topaz. Well, that's not, hap not happening, my friend. Work if you focus on wood until you get the mine unlocked. Uh, it looks like we're definitely going to get enough wood. Or, uh, stone, rather. It's Tuesday? Yeah. Um, that shouldn't be a pro- Oh, yeah. I can catch her at night, though, right? On her way back home, we can catch her walking past. Is that not true? It would mean having to stay up a lot later than I need to, and I am really lazy. So maybe I just go to bed. This was a- exactly what I warned me about. Got to be careful and not waste any um, any swings of the pickaxe. Down to three energy. I don't know why I'm even doing this. I don't even need those at all. All right, well, do I wait for like another six hours today or do I just go to I'm going to bed we're going to bed we'll get it started tomorrow level one mining fantastic we got a rainy day which I guess doesn't really matter at all when do you unlock the cave on the fifth so we're getting there be nice to get a chest and get some of this junk out of my inventory. So I guess I can just kind of knock down trees until a little bit later this morning. And then we'll go start our coop and honestly probably go right back to bed again. I don't know if you guys have noticed like a pattern 
in if you've been here for a little bit of the streams I've been doing lately. But we really have been doing a lot of sleeping. Like a lot of going to bed early. Alright, there we go. 355. Do I even want this up here? I guess that's fine. You need coffee? We might... Is coffee one of the things I can find on the beach? I, I'm guessing that that joke was like... Just flew right over my head. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh, you need coffee because I'm falling asleep. Which is, is good, but I... My brain just went like, huh, coffee. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I like going fast. We should get coffee. I sleep 18 hours. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The colonel, listen. The colonel's goals and understanding are beyond, like, a mere mortal. So I wouldn't feel too bad. You know, don't, don't set yourself against that measuring stick. It's not fair. You're not going to come out feeling proud of yourself. Uh, you're just going to look back with a little bit of shame. Let's get our resources and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get rolling here. Boom, boom. Got our money. Farmer when the chronic fatigue hits at 9 a.m. Me every day in the winter. Honestly, this winter hasn't been too bad. It's been a good year. Linus with his waterproof flame up there. Hello. I need a coop, please. What is the plan for this farm? We are going to get chickens. Fantastic. So that'll get started tomorrow, done on Friday. We'll actually be able to buy a chicken from Marnie right away. Won't have quite enough for a second one, but it'd be that way sometimes. Uh, anyway, what's the plan for this farm? Yeah, just we're, we're getting chickens. We're getting a lot of chickens. Um, I want to see like where where I guess the uh, the tipping point is. Like, where does it start to become an issue? Um, I don't think I think my computer will be fine. Probably, no matter how many chickens I put on the screen. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. I just think at a certain point, it's going to get a little ridiculous. And, and I'm trying to figure out where that is specifically. Can we go for void chickens, too? If we get something from the witch, I will. I probably won't go out of my way to, like, get into the sewers to get one, though. Speaking of, though, if we're going to marry Shane, we should probably... Like, get cracking on that, huh? I guess that would need, like, a couple house upgrades. Well, it's a long-term plan. We can get started on it, if nothing else. Bella, welcome in. You can't stay. You have to work. I'm sorry to hear that. You could always just not work. You could always just skip it. I'm not recommending that, you know, just... Want you to be aware of your options. No amount of chickens is a ridiculous amount. All right, fair enough. <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. What's the chicken limit? There is not a chicken limit to my knowledge. The only way that you're limited is by how many coops you can fit on the map. Which, um... Oh, I can't... Their name eludes me, but somebody in uh, my Discord maybe like three or four months ago posted a picture of like an industrial factory style farm with... Uh, <laughs> with like... I, I don't even want to guess. There were probably like 40 plus coops. 
and they were all just packed together. Just like next to each other, there was just one line for walking between all of them. Um, it was terrifying. I mean, it was really impressive, but terrifying. <laughs> one full deluxe coupe for each type. I would like to have more deluxe coupes than that. Was it Filthy Gorilla? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Thank you so much. Slow rabbits. Didn't Shawnee do do a coop farm or was that Barnes? I have no idea. Um, I know Lee did... Um, a 20-something loser did a farm with a lot of animals. Oh, you don't like daffodils? Well, whatever, dude. <laughs> Fine. Get out of here, then. Uh, what's the Discord link? It should be in the video description. And if it's not, I know it's on my channel page. But it's I'm not fancy enough. Slash, I don't pay for um, enough membership stuff to get, like, a customized one, so. He likes peppers. That is true. That is very true. How many chickens are we at? We just got started, so we are, um, we're, we're not at any quite yet. You don't have to marry Shane to get the blue chicken cutscene. Oh, I'm, I'm aware. Yeah, I know. Doesn't mean we won't. Like, here's the thing. If I have 100 chickens on my farm and I want to get one more, I can rely on my guy Shane. So, there you go. That's like a free chicken, and all I have to do is befriend a very angry and very hurt man. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Really, I don't have any of this. All right, cool. And I didn't grab my pick. Uh, I saw somebody said, make sure you save some materials to make uh, like a stopper or like a, a generator. I really like doing that with <laughs> lightning rods, but I think it's going to be a while before we have those. So you're... That's probably a good shot. We probably should just put like a fence post on some of the grass down here once we start getting a lot of chickens. You also get another troop? That's so true. I mean, it's kind of useless to me, but if we're like trying to say we want the most coops possible, we'd be lying. If we didn't take Shane, if we said we had the most. What is our money making strategy? <laughs> uh, to get up to the initial chicken, I just gave myself some cash. And then we had to get all of the like resources, the wood and the stone for the coop. But from here on, I'm not really planning on selling anything other than chicken related supplies. I will do quests for villagers, though, if I run into them. Um, Well, that was a pretty good day. I think we're off to bed. 520. We made it pretty far today. You can do mayo. I plan on doing mayo, yeah. I plan on heading into the mines. Oh, this would have been a good farm to try and do some early fishing. We got another rainy day. Unfortunately, I don't really care about that on this file. Rancher and Coop Master. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. It might be... I haven't done the math on... So the last time I did any kind of animal math was for the sheep. 
And I know for the sheep, rancher and shepherd was bananas. Uh, like, very, very good. I don't actually know if Coopmaster is a better pick than just getting Artisan. You know what I mean? Because, yes, with Rancher, we'll get a 10% increase to our sell price, but Artisan is still going to trump that. Um, is it worth it for the, like, faster friendship gain? Mayo is level 2 farming. How are you getting that? By petting sheep. Or uh, chickens, rather. Sorry. Yeah. I've, I've done it before. Leveled up farming with nothing but chickens. I'll do it again. Good morning. Just finished an MRI. Congratulations. I, I think. Hopefully. Will you just have normal chickens? Um, I'm not planning on going out of my way to get void chickens, but like, I would say there's a pretty good chance that we just end up getting a void chicken randomly. It seems to happen with, um, a decent amount of frequency. And then as far as blue chickens, yeah, we'll, we'll probably plan on trying to get some of those. Does rancher apply to mayo or just eggs? I believe it does apply to mayo as well, but again... I uh, I don't know that you should quote me on that. I haven't haven't looked at any profession stuff in a, a hot second. Coop master mix, max your hearts out fast. Yeah, I just do I care about that if I'm just turning it into mayo, I guess is my question. <clears throat> um Shane, where are you? Are you at home still? You're already at Joja. Great. I'm only gonna get half friendship for this. I need to catch him early in the morning, especially since I don't really have anything to give him. What do you even like, my guy, that I can realistically get? I'm not buying you beer. Mm. Well, he's got a whole lot of likes. He's got a whole lot of likes, but no loves that I can get until the peppers. But I don't plan on really doing any crops, so I don't know that that'll matter. Cola from Trash Can? You want enough hearts to always get large eggs from gold mayo? Yeah. Um, I think my, my concern with that is that I don't think I'm going to get into the sewer for like a long time, you know? So I'm worried that going Coop Master with the intention of later switching to Artisan might not be the best route. So I don't know. I got to think about it. I don't think we're going to hit farming level five tonight anyway. So that'll give me a chance to sit down and pull up the spreadsheet. Do ostriches count as deluxe chickens? Well, unfortunately, ostriches need a barn and we're not really doing barns, so... Got Shane to eight hearts using beer. A lot of people don't want to give Shane beer because they don't want to enable him. I don't want to give Shane beer because it costs me money. If I were making a meme, I would I would then at the bottom say we are not the same. Go Joja for auto petters. I don't think we have a choice but to go Joja <laughs> if we do anything, you know. Reduced hatch time. Yeah. Is the 800 gold I'm saving from the reduced hatch time enough to offset the amount of extra money I could be making from Artisan? You know? Maybe we'll do one barn with ostriches if we ever even get that far, which I somehow... I have my doubts, but we'll see. I mean, chickens make a lot of money, if we're being real. Like, I think this is gonna scale up pretty quickly. Once it starts, uh, once it starts rolling, we're gonna avalanche, I have a feeling. Still haven't done a Joja route, wow. 
you're missing out, I would say, if I cared, but I don't think... I mean, I like the JoJo route for when I'm doing dumb stuff like this, because if I want to do endgame things, but my plan is to make a farm with nothing but chickens, name myself the Colonel, and live on ch finger licking farm, like, <laughs> that, do that doesn't really suit the community center style gameplay. Uh, so it's really nice that we have the option. I think you should be allowed to get dinosaurs since they are the original chickens. I'm not against the idea of dinosaurs. Seems a little bit weird. Why do you have to get to Ginger Island? Um, if we want ostriches, we need to get to Ginger Island, right? So... That would be the only reason we really need to go there. Other than that though, no, there, there's not really any reason we would need to go to Ginger Island. All right, level two foraging. You know that that is a milestone for us. Look at this rain, so beautiful on day five. Um, the Colonel. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Oh, you're not done. I thought you would be done today, to be honest. Well, all right. I guess we're going to spend some time in the mines today, then. Let's, uh, let's drop some stuff off here. I don't really need you or you. I guess I can take that. Grab that. Fantastic. Uh, I probably have enough wood to make a chest also, right? Let's just grab our stone. Make a chest right away. Mm, that's probably more than enough. All right, let's go. I like dinosaurs better than ostriches, but both can be cool. You're not wrong. They are both cool. Ostriches make a, a noise. So they have that going for them. Got dinos for the first time in my recent playthrough, and now you have three of them. It's hard not to. They're not really great for money, but... <laughs> uh, Yo, a guy named GK. After this, you can do a companion run where you only grow corn as the colonel. I love that. KJ Lindolf? Lindolf? Lindelof? Tell me how to pronounce that, KJ. Either way, thank you so much for uh, joining at Potato. I got you added to the list. Uh, in case you guys didn't know... Uh, because we haven't actually bought any chickens yet, I'm just running uh, a little, like, Excel function that'll randomly pull a new name every minute. Uh, and that is pulling from my Patreon and my member list. So if you want to be a chicken, you can uh, join one of those places. If you don't, you can also help support the channel by liking the stream. <laughs> Or just being here is also very helpful as well. I uh, I did not drop off my chest upstairs, and that was a big, big mistake. I don't really... I haven't used any energy either. There's no point in really eating yet. So I can, I can actually see things now. Like, I can tell when people are doing those little hearts or whatever on the side. I don't know exactly what it is. Is that like a shocked face? I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I swear I'm going to turn that off one of these days. Not today, though. Continue. As you were. Gotta go. Keep an eye out for your great return. We'll be waiting, Bella. Thank you so much for stopping by. Does the adjective... Adjective noun trick work with farm animals. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Does it just pull up a name? Not a good luck day and it is showing. Um... Yeah, we can go ahead and eat.
posted a speedrunning challenge for you and the other Stardew Valley YouTubers. It's a speedrunning challenge, Hat Mouse 2.0. Interesting. I'll consider taking a look later. Like the stream. Thank you so much, Blaze. You're the winner tonight. Um, Let's see. I do probably want this coal, huh? All right, let's go. Dang, I'm I'm really sad that I did not drop off my box upstairs because we got too much junk, collecting too much garbage. <laughs> Nothing. All right, moving on. All right, let's get upstairs. So Robin will be done with our first coop tomorrow. That one, unfortunately, has already been spoken for. Um, but then after that, hopefully we can kind of pick up the pace. Although I don't think we'll get any eggs from that one for a few days. So it, it's not gonna like blast off right away. Can I have a ladder? A ladder or some copper? Either way, I would be much obliged. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll make it down to 10 and that'll be it today. That's all right, too. I don't think this is good. <laughs> I, I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit of a slow burn, but but like I said, at some point we're going to tip the tip the scale, and all of a the sudden, there's going to be drowning in eggs and uh, you know money because of that. Are you hitting so fast? Uh, that is from animation canceling. So basically, my space bar. I'm using a script that binds the letters. Oh, what is it? Right shift, delete, and R, I want to say. Um, so immediately after I click, I press space, and that interrupts the animation. Uh, and you just have to do it far enough into the animation that you still actually like hit the rock or whatever it is. So it's not a mod. Um, you can do it in the base game if you got really stretchy fingers, but most people just use a script to rebind the keys. You're talking about a spreadsheet earlier. What is there more to consider but the prices of mayo and eggs? Um, so the things that I would want to consider would be how quickly we can raise friendship because that's going to affect the like quality um on the like the very long term it's not really gonna matter but the other things that i care about are yeah the the mayo the eggs and the difference between what we're gonna get from artisan and coop master so i know shepherd is actually a pretty good call if you're going for the little sheepies but i don't believe there's a similar effect with Coop master, but that's what I mean. I gotta go take a look. Because at a certain point, like, <clears throat> is it more important to prioritize, like, long term profits, or is it more important for us to, like, scale up quickly? You know? Like, would I rather make the most money in the long term or would I rather get the most product now so that I can keep buying more stuff immediately even if we're sacrificing in the long term you know the top end of stuff uh anyway let's go home I did not even get enough copper to make one furnace wild not a good first day. Let's take you and you. Sure, whatever. That'll work.
Adjective and noun and adverb are a couple text functions in the game that people recently discovered that can be placed in your name to randomly pick words from that list. Okay, interesting. Hard question. Long term is always better, but I think it's. Long term is always better, I think, but it's hard to resist short term progress. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The more you invest now, the more you profit later. The thing is, though, the. The playthrough has, like, it's finite. We're not going to be playing forever, so... Are we going to hit the point where it doesn't matter and I should go for the, the greater value, or are we going to not ever get there and so I should just uh, take the friendship to get those products more quickly? So, I don't think that we need to think that much about it. I think, at the end of the day, Artisan is the better pick, but I like doing stuff like that, so... All right, fair enough. My pickaxe is not strong enough. You're not wrong. <clears throat> buying 100 chickens, just do artisan. But am I buying 100 chickens? Or am I going to be hatching a whole bunch of chickens and moving them to different coops and, like, seeding a whole bunch of different coops with eggs? <laughs> There's no fun if you don't kind of play the devil's advocate, right? Is that is that not true? Is that just me? Because the hatch time, like on a normal farm, probably not a huge deal. But if I can get a whole bunch of coops up, what if we have like four or five eggs hatching two days early? Is it worth it? I mean, it's still probably not. <laughs> But I don't know. Uh, Marlin wants us to kill some slimes. We're going to go ahead and not do that right now. Instead, I think I'm just going to go stand awkwardly around in the forest outside Marnie's and just wait for her to open. Although I guess I could just do a loop of my farm. And um, look for some boxes or anything like that. But I'm not going to. We're out of here. <laughs> Shane, what are you up to right now? Are you still inside? You are on a Saturday, huh? Okay. Hey, Willie. Sorry I didn't come see you down at the ocean. Just don't really want to fish right now. All right, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Beautiful. Hey, buddy. All right, bye. All right, we gotta get a sheep, and I think Danny should probably be a brown, or a chicken. I keep saying that because I'm thinking of Danny. So I think Danny should be a brown chicken. There we go. There we go. That one is for my wife, but from here on out, the rest of them are just going to pull from that little sheet. So I think today, I think we'll say hello, open up the little doggy door thing. And um, do I really want to go to the mine right now? I feel like I should. Maybe I'll wait until we have some better luck. I think that's what I'll do. I think we'll just kind of chill. We'll sleep. We'll get some good luck. And then we'll go hunt for some more copper. We don't really need like a lot of resources other than some copper, some earth geodes. So, Shane, your favorite. Marry him in every save. I got, I got nothing to say to that. I'm glad you have someone you love. That's what I have to say to that, actually. All right, chicken. Grow up big and strong and hopefully very quickly. Let's, uh, we got to make sure we get this recipe, right? Am I right? But since we have decent luck, I think I'm going to go ahead and get back down in there. We're going to try and get a little bit more copper. I think I uninstalled automate 
like I wanted to. I'm pretty sure that I'm not running automate right now. There may come a day when we decide we need that though. <laughs> uh, but I think that day is, is a ways out. I mean, it's definitely not tonight, so. But 100 chickens, hey Linus, sorry to interrupt your poop. Uh, 100 chickens though. Like that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, mayo machines that I would need to get my hands on. It's a lot of earth crystals, mostly, I guess. That was so loud in my headphones for some reason. That honestly, that scared me so bad. The Dougie noise. Oh my gosh. Um, like my armpits are sweaty. Why? <laughs> Why was that so scary? <laughs> ah, get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Give me those. Wow, that was terrifying. For honestly no reason at all. Anybody else? Anybody else want some? Should probably get some of these guys killed for entrance to the adventures guild Dougie noises are terrifying and they really had no right to be like I I'm, feel like I should be pretty used to this by now I do this I play this game fairly frequently you know what I mean excuse me excuse me just want to just want to get this coal at the end sorry excuse me just trying to get some coal Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, look at that. I like to see this. Can you give me a cherry bomb? Thank you so much. Ask and you shall receive. Mmm, fiber can go. Fiber can go. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Where were you a couple of days ago? 15. Not bad, not bad. Another geode. <clears throat> Do you guys think that we're going to get any new enemies in 1.6? I kind of think one of those items looks like a little quiver, like for a bow. I kind of want to see some new enemies, like a different... You know how we have the dangerous mines? Maybe something like that. I don't know where or how that would be implemented. Maybe like a change to the quarry? Maybe? I don't really know. I know Stardew is never going to be like... A combat game which is why I can just run around and run face first and enemies and not really be too worried about it at this point in the game but I think that would be pretty cool nobody okay okay nothing over here all right let's get out of here I think that's probably good enough for today we just got 24 more copper that's enough for me to get a furnace started and then we do have a little bit of Copper at home as well. I just arrived. How y'all doing? We are, uh, I think we're doing okay. We got our first chicken. Should be growing up in a couple of days. And then shortly after that, we'll be able to add another one to the queue. And then I think from there, that's, that's where it starts. That's where the real game begins. Now I just made myself sad, but that's all right. Bow and arrow system would be cool. I would really like to see that. I did not use the slingshot for so long in this game. And I, I still don't use it to like fight enemies, but it would be cool. It would be neat to get something kind of similar to that. Give me um, one of these. I've been playing Coral Island um, and I almost was like gonna try and throw all of my copper into there because you can make five bars at a time in that game but no not gonna happen not gonna happen 
Iridium arrow. I'd take any kind of arrows I could get at this point. I think it'd be fun. A friendship mechanic with the crows. That would be interesting. Befriend the crows and have them bring you shiny little trinkets and defend you from... Maybe if you had, like, monsters on your farm, the crows would come and fight for you. <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. I don't think I talked to Shane today, but I think I don't really care enough to go find him. Should probably get a little bit more stone around here. Or I, You know what? I'm just going to clear up some of the little stuff around. And if it takes us long enough, you know, then we could probably go find him at the bar or something. My wish list for 1.6 is pretty small. I pretty much just want more spouse interactions. <clears throat> Personally. Although I guess there's like some quality of life stuff. It would be nice if, for example... I use a mod that shows me the uh, the radius of like sprinklers and the scarecrows and stuff, and that's something that whenever I have a video with that on it, people will ask like, "Is is that a setting that you can change?" What if it was? That would be pretty cool, baby. Started using the slingshot as an actual weapon and expanded. Redeem ore is supremely underrated. It's it does a lot of damage, yeah, if you have enough of it lying around. Experience tracking mod would be fun to have in the base game. Yeah, there's a lot of little stuff like that that would be really nice. Just not not sweeping overarching changes, just like a, a little bit of a quality of life change. Maybe even if it was a setting or something. I don't know. All right. Well, I successfully wasted enough of my own time that I can now run over to the bar and chat with Shane. Being able to move the farmhouses on my wish list? Oh, yeah, that's fair. That feels almost sacrilegious to me. <laughs> that feels so wrong. Love to see improvements to the farm computer. Hmm. Like, what are you thinking it could track that you're looking for? Not figured out if I can fire at an angle on the switch. I haven't... I don't know that I've really ever used that on the, the slingshot on the switch, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I love working on the farm. Thanks, Maru. That does seem like a pain in the butt. Mm, you're not here yet, Shane. Are you coming over from work still? Are you at home today? Oh my gosh, you're not even here. I spent all day here. Love to see more diverse dialogue in general. Yeah, just adding like a dozen or so lines for each person. I That is a lot, to be honest. Like that'd be a lot to add, but it would, it would go a long way, you know? Okay, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's fine. Six o'clock. You close at six, huh? All right. Oh, hello. Hello. All right, sorry. He's busy. I'm sorry. All right, fair enough. But the spouses do not feel like they give up all their ambitions as soon as they move in. Yeah, that's something that I've talked about a lot. Um, but it, it's just kind of like a symptom of like farming sim style games in general is that the story isn't really about them. It's about you, so 
you know, at that point, their story is just melded into yours and you don't really have one. Like, you work every day, but I don't know. It is sad to see people stop following their routines. Is there anything else around here that I can pick up? Any other goodies? Any other boxes or anything? Got some forage. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, nope, that's about it. Info for the greenhouse or the island could be on the farming computer. That would be kind of nice, yeah. You're not wrong, though. Like, I, I honestly don't really bother with it because it just doesn't tell me enough to be worth the time, I guess. Like, I don't really... I, I craft it, I guess, to get the recipe crafted, but basically that's the only reason. All right, we made it all the way until 8 p.m. today. That's got to be some kind of record, so level one combat. Just got here. Going to start at the beginning of the stream. Glad to see you streaming. Hope you had a good holiday season. Thank you so much, Amanda. I had a, a pretty good holiday season. I hope you did as well. Got another good luck day today, but honestly, I'm going right back to bed. Our chicken was able to get out and get some food. All right, Colonel, is today the day? I kind of don't think it is. I think it's tomorrow. Oh, it is today. All right, let's go. Here it is. Egg. It's our very first egg. 75 gold. We got a gold star egg on our very first egg. Wow, I'm going back to bed. Here we go, folks. I hope you guys are in for, for some real excitement here. We're <laughs> it's getting real. No, I don't want the cat. I don't want the cat. This is a chicken only farm. Hello, the Colonel. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is this dialogue so slow? No. Yeah, get out of here. Goodness gracious. Why would I ever want a cat when I could have egg? Chickens love you already. Hey, listen, you're not eating. Go outside and eat. Come on. Let's go. Are you dumb? Go. Go. Move. Come on. Let's go. All right, you know what? Whatever. You're on your own. I'm going to bed. They eat me. <laughs> so true. So true. Well, hopefully the chicken has enough time to eat in the time it takes me to run down there. You should start you with a 5-0 lead on Abigail. True that. I am not going to the egg festival. Those people think they know eggs. They don't know anything. Get that out of there. Unfortunately, no food for you today, Danny. I don't I don't have a, a silo yet, and I'm not going to go buy any food. I need to save that money to buy more chickens. In the original Harvest Moon, you could manly push your... Yeah, that would be really nice. Um, Lost your axe. I mean, we could go do that. I did say that quests were specifically allowed. That would give us everything we need, right? So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get it. And I'm not breaking the rules, like I said, because quests are specifically allowed. Wow, look at all this seaweed. That is one thing that I would like to do as well at some point uh, on a different farm file is a like level 10 fishing without a fishing rod farm. 
Uh, I've said this before. I don't know if I said it on stream or in Discord, but I don't ever want to do Argon's catch every fish in one day challenge. That just... I feel like that would kill me. And I don't think I could even do it. Uh, and you guys should go watch that video if you haven't on Argon Matrix's channel. Uh, but it did make me want to do a farm where we get to level 10 fishing without having a fishing rod at all. I thought that would be kind of fun. But um, probably not for a little bit. Found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. I'm already on it. I think for the chickens, you had to pick them up and carry them. That does sound familiar. You can call them with a bell. Oh, so I remember in A Wonderful Life, there's like a bell outside, but was there a bell that you could have in your inventory in one of the games that you could like ring? Can you only get experience with crab pots or is there other ways? Uh, you can also get experience from fish ponds. So crab pots and fish ponds, yeah. Expect Argon for even thinking of it, but I couldn't even watch it because of the anxiety it gave me. You should. It's a fantastic watch. It's a really, really well put together video. It's I, I would say, I've said it to many people, I think it's possibly the best video I've ever seen on YouTube. So just saying, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. There was a bell. It never worked. Distinctly a, remember a bell. Okay, okay. I'm not just making things up. Oh, I'm not buying anything, actually. I just have this for you. There you go. You're very welcome. Uh, we should actually probably plant some of the trees that uh, I've been getting seeds from, huh? Because we are going to need a lot of wood. Watched it and it surprised me. That's fair. It's an incredible video. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's absolutely fantastic. All right, tomorrow we are going to get a new chicken. It's going to be a very big moment for this farm. But today, I think we better plant some trees. And I don't think there's really any tree in particular that is more or less helpful for me. So we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just do some maple over here. Well, no, not like that, though. And maybe we'll do some over here. How many chickens do we have now? We still just have one, but tomorrow will be our second chicken. I actually don't know if these ones can grow, but you know what? I guess we'll, we'll find out. That's all I'm gonna do for now until I figure something out. I gotta like, I gotta either figure out a pattern or, or do something else. Cause I don't want, I don't want this to just turn into another tree farm to infinity and beyond again. What day of the week is it today? It's a Friday, okay. Oh, I didn't finish my quest. I was like, you're kidding me. Let's uh go ahead and Get those out of the way too. Perfect. Egg festival tomorrow. I'm gonna gonna be honest with you. I do not care. Do not care at all. Oh, you're cranky today because I couldn't feed you. Well, you know what? That's my bad. You're right. You're a hundred percent correct. I should have fed you. <clears throat> If I could take it back, I would. But um, there's no point focusing on the past, so just give me some eggs. Mermaid Song is one of your favorites. I, I can get down with the Mermaid Song. It's definitely one of those, like, hope nobody walks in while I'm playing this kind of thing. Except the only person that would is... Uh, my wife, who also plays Stardew Valley, so... But, like, you know, I have a distinct memory of playing Tony Hawk Underground 2, I want to say it was. It was either 1 or 2. I don't remember which one it was. But it was one of the Underground games. And there was a, a point where 
we were doing like some kind of competition. I think it was maybe in Hawaii. I, I really don't remember specifically where it was or even what it was, but I do remember my dad coming down uh, when there were just a bunch of characters in their underwear on the screen and just being like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm playing a, a skating game for real. It's, it's just skateboarding. It's just that they're, they're doing something right now. And it was just, it was very awkward. It was very uncomfortable. It wasn't even like watching a movie and having that part come on either. Cause it's almost like it implies that you are, you know, seeking out and actively trying to find uh, a bunch of men and women in their undies. So fantastic, very embarrassing situation for us all. Welcome in roses for corpse. Great time to show up right when we're talking about some uh, naked video game characters. All right, second chicken of the night. It looks like is going to be Bigglesworth. Bigglesworth is our second chicken of the night. A new white chicken. If you're here tonight or if you're watching this in the future, congratulations, Bigglesworth. You are chicken number two. Welcome to the flock. I expect great things from you. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, it's already going to pop off right here. In just a couple of days, we're going to have twice as much money. <laughs> we're going to be absolutely filthy, stinking rich. And then we're going to have to develop our own, like, secret recipe. All right. A second chicken. Um, get some hay? Absolutely not. Do you think we have the kind of money laying around that we can just buy hay? You gotta be joking me right now. No, these these little chickens are just gonna have to do a, a little hope and prayer that we don't get any rain. Oh, some cookies. Thank you, Mom. They just need to desperately hope that there is no rain. Free range chickens only. Imagine being like, yeah, I'm, I'm an ethical chicken farmer. We only raise our chickens free range. When it rains, they don't eat. <laughs> but, you know, other than that, they live a really good life. You know, no boundaries. Um, they're very safe from wolves and foxes, probably. Because I never close the door and lock them out at night. People tell me that that can happen. And like, I know, like logically, that you can lose animals, right? But I have not once in thousands of hours lost a chicken. So yeah, maybe today's the day. Maybe today is the beginning of something special. Maybe I should be going to the mines. Let me actually, let me see how much wood we have right now. Or uh, how, how many stones we have. <clears throat> so assuming we had the money, we actually could build another coop. We couldn't, I don't think, get a, uh, a coop upgrade quite yet. Not quite enough stone, but... And I think we would rather have an upgrade than a new coop at this point. I think two upgrades is going to be like the sweet spot. I don't know that we necessarily need the deluxe, but having the ability to um, incubate eggs might be kind of handy. I'm not really sure. Can't lose them as long as you don't close the door. Well, that explains why I haven't lost any because I really just don't close the doors. I, like, what? what is the benefit of closing the door to your coop? I honestly am not sure if there is one. Of 
first to the secret ing ingredients, brine the chicken and Joja Cola overnight. Yeah, we should actually, we should maybe make a little recipe, huh? Uh, are we going to go back to the isolation farm? I honest, I'm not sure. So I have regrets about leaving the farm, even though it was through like the warp totems and it was something that we kind of thought through and decided that it was an okay decision. I just, I feel like it kind of ruined the, the concept of the farm that I had in my mind when I started, so... I don't know if or when I will go back to that one, um, but it won't be probably soon if I had to guess. Got a full box already. I'll, I think I might start moving some of the stuff that we just find on the beach maybe over to this other one. That's not even really that much. We could do trash too. That, that's a good start, I guess. It's only for aesthetics, closing the barn door. Close the door so you can pet them in the morning easier before you let them out. Hmm, that's fair, I guess. Victory Butterfly, welcome in. Hello, hello. Granny Evelyn giving me some, some spicy hot tips about how to raise my garden. To be honest with you, Granny. Miss Evelyn, rather. Do not care. Let's go. Level one farming. This becomes impractical around coop number six or seven. That's that's where the fun starts, I think. That's where things are going to start getting weird. I should probably wait and just sell things when I have enough to buy a whole extra chicken, huh? I don't know that we need to sit through that every night to say, like, I made another 50 gold. Uh, are we upgrading each coop for more capacity? Or are you just going to buy... I think I'll upgrade at least to the... Excuse me? Uh, at least to the second upgrade. I think it would be nice to be able to incubate and get more egg or, uh, more chickens that way. And then I think I'll go to the, the final one eventually. I'm just not super concerned about it right away. What is this here? Uh, fertilizer. All right, thanks. All right, if you guys could give me some like gold eggs again. Our very first egg that we got was a gold egg. If we could do that one more time, that would be fantastic. Planning on getting any blue or gold chickens? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be talking to Shane. Uh, I would like to do blue chickens. I don't plan on getting perfection to get gold chickens. I'm hoping that we get the witch to swing by at some point. Give us a void egg, but not gonna, not gonna fret about it. Oh no, we got a rainy day. See, this is kind of the bane of our existence right now. I really need to... What do we need? Just stone, clay, and a little bit of money. Maybe I should just do that today. It's a Thursday. But I think I have enough that I could have another chicken here maybe, right? So we got 75, uh, like 200, 300, 350. That's not quite enough. Okay. And a silo is only like... It's super cheap, but I don't think it... I don't know that it's this cheap. Oh, five copper for a silo? Well, off to the mines we go. We got a lucky day, so... <clears throat> Takes me two and a half hours to pet 84 rabbits. That is bonkers. Can really set back your tool schedule early like this? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I normally don't build a silo. Um, I'm I'm very rarely in a rush for a silo at the beginning of the game. I would rather do this. And if I really feel like it, I feel like I'm gonna need this leak. If I really feel like it's necessary, I can buy hay, like in a normal run. But normally, um, if I have chickens really early or whatever, I'll just let them out and. 
If it rains, it rains. You know what I mean? You need an incubator for a chance at the witch? I believe you do. I'm not 100% sure, though. Walking past salmon berries? Yeah, I don't really care that much today. If we don't make it very deep into the cave, it's not going to break my heart. This is not an optimized run by any stretch of the imagination, so... Those salmon berries can live another day. Can we get some stairs? Did I see a box over there? I did see a box over there and a little bit more copper and a barrel. And a whole bunch of garbage. All right, very cool. Sounds like a good reason to go Joja and get auto petters. Yeah, I believe we will be going Joja. I mean, I don't, I don't know that we could do much other than go Joja. And I don't have the the kind of Joja reservations that um, many people seem to have. So doesn't I feel nothing? I feel nothing when I go Joja. Well, one of those is gonna turn. Yeah. These bugs, honestly, I don't know. Top three most annoying enemies in the game, I would say. I think I would say uh, number one, serpents, probably. Number two, squid. And then those guys would be number three, I think. Something that can be really annoying, though, is uh, trying to fight ghosts when you have a weapon that doesn't do a lot of damage but has high knockback. Like, if you really need, I don't know, like a ghost fish or something, and you're just trying to get one ghost killed, but you just can't. Serpents over squid. So the reason I would say serpents are worse than squid is because I spend significantly more time dealing with serpents and squid squid honestly probably more annoying um but just by like virtue of how often i deal with them i think squids are uh, are more annoying or uh, serpents are more annoying <clears throat> Anything on the altar mines is worse than squid? I mean, the squid are in that. Ghost in the danger in the deep mines? Yeah, they're not fun. Danger in the deep is really cool. Um, it's one of those things where I like, I'll turn on the, the dangerous mines and I'll be like, this is so cool. And then I'll be like, wow, I really hate this. Why did I do this? Yeah, it's kind of how I feel every time I start playing Ocarina of Time. I'll be like, I love this game. This game is so much fun. And then I'll get to literally any temple and be like, God, this game is so dumb. I hate it so much. Why am I even doing this? But that's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. What I would really like to do sometime soon, and I know Danny would like this as well, is I want to play back through Majora's Mask. I haven't done that. I haven't done like a full playthrough of that game in probably like, I don't know, 15 years? It needs to be done. I got to do it again. I have such fond memories of playing that game in the living room at home with my uh, sister reading the guidebook for me. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, it was a really good game. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Ten or more immunity and you can laugh at putrid ghosts. Ginger, yeah, ginger is pretty easy to come by by the time you're doing that, so... 
They're they're pretty annoying if you're not ready for them though. That is for sure. This is going to be like maybe the fastest farm cleanup that I've done in a few runs now. Considering we actually have tools, we have energy, we don't really have anywhere we need to be throughout the day. You can go in there. I think, unfortunately, we're just going to not really worry about the silo for now. We're just going to keep going. You know what? It is what it is. Unfortunately, the chickens are going to have their bad days. Like, today is going to be one of them. I think we still get the farming experience, so I do still want to go talk to them, but... Uh, they're not going to be very pleased with me. Hello. Hello. All right, bye. And we got a bad luck day, so yeah, we're out of here. Ethical farming at its best, absolutely. Oh, we got to do something for Shane today. Um, no, I can't do it from there. All right, fair enough. Shane, do I have anything that you like? I could give him some cookies. I'd be fine giving up some cookies for Shane's birthday. That's a good birthday present. Oh, there we go. We got a large egg. Awesome. We got another chicken tomorrow. You could get, you could plant wheat in summer. I, I could. I don't really want to be doing any, anything farming, really. That would be much smarter than just letting my chickens starve, but at what cost? You know what I mean? Got gems for him, too. Yeah, but cookies are like a good birthday present. You know what I mean? Long time lurker, first time chatter, loving some invigorating chicken farming. Well, thank you so much, Cage Tiger. I appreciate that. Welcome back, long time lurker. All right, Shane, I don't know what time you do stuff on Saturdays. I have a feeling you actually don't go anywhere for a, a while, maybe at all. I, I don't know. Save the cookie, no. The cookie goes. The cookie must be sacrificed. It's a sacrifice to Shane. We probably should honestly just like buy him a pizza or something, but that would mean staying up like all the way until the bar opens. And you know we don't live that life here. That's not what we do on this channel. <laughs> Goes to Pierre's if it's sunny. Okay, awesome. I think farming should be fine as long as it's either for Shane or for the chickens. I can't be bought. You guys, you, you cannot change my mind on this. I will not plant a crop. I'm not doing it. I just simply will not. I'm sorry to say it. I'm flexible about a lot of things. I don't know why this is where I draw the line, but apparently it is. Hey, but... Oh, wow, the rare dialogue. Happy birthday. Wow, amazing. Definitely should have got him a love gift, but whatever. I don't care. We'll get there, or not. And honestly, if we don't, we don't. Sacrifices must be done for the chickens. It's a lesson we all learn early in life, unfortunately. I kind of want to put a path through the grass, but... Look how fast this all grew in, by the way. Like, this was not one solid patch of grass at the beginning of the game. This was, like, 15 different patches of grass. This farm is just bonkers for that.
Uh, yeah, off to bed, I think. And we're going to get another chicken today because we got a big egg. Should put us up over 800. Pretty close to nine, I think, actually. I, I, don't, I don't really know where my money is at right now. Nope, not even close. Oh, but I do have a recipe I need to get. Queen of Sauce, teach me your methods. Radish salad. Okay. Whatever. Never going to make that in a million years. All right, can we get two large eggs today? No. Well, we got one, which I kind of didn't expect to get one again today. Uh, I'm going to do a quick run around the outside of the farm. You know, just, just want to check real quick, see if we have any, any packages that washed up. No, not really. Nothing over there. Once I figured out you could get a year one dance partner, I always feel like I failed if I don't have at least one dance option. Shane's usually the emergency choice. Shane is a good emergency choice. Yeah, you definitely... So I think everyone is possible. Um, the only one that's like really, really RNG is Elliot because if you're not close enough to him, you can't get into his house if it rains. And if you have a really rainy spring, you can kind of just not be able to get uh, to the dance with him. Alex is not great because he doesn't have good gifts, but with liked gifts, you can get, I think, anybody on the first spring. As long as you're really diligent about talking to them, getting those free uh, friendship points every day, and then you don't have to worry about the decay also. But that does mean, like, sacrificing potentially an hour or two out of your day just to, like, chase someone down, so... All right, come on, let's, um, I don't know. There's really not much else I can do out here. My inventory's already full. I guess I can get one more tree while I wait. That was nice and clean. I was happy with that. All right, uh, we're going to get our third chicken. Chicken number three is on its way. And we have a new white chicken. And what's our name this time? Wilwyn. Wilwyn, if you're here, if you're watching later, welcome to the farm, friend. Wilwyn has been around for a long, long time as a channel member, so... Thank you so much for continuing to support, and uh, welcome to the farm. No one deserves it more, except maybe, maybe, I don't know. No one, no one except my wife. <laughs> Just being a little creep, you can dance with anyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can dance with anybody. Some people are just a little bit tougher than others. Now we're at a, a weird place, though, because we need to start saving some money to do a coop upgrade. Like, until now, it was all about just uh, adding more chickens. We got one more still, but pretty soon, deluxe coop. Oh, sorry. Big coop. We're actually ready for it. We just need the money. Um, which is kind of the bottleneck right now. But you know what? We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Once we get mayo machines, too, that'll help. We just need the farming levels for that. I think I'll work on just a little bit more... Stone collection around home. Maybe. All right. 
yeah, I, I guess like I was saying, this farm is actually going to be really clean, like really early compared to a lot of the, the files that I work with. Normally I have better things to do than clean up random logs on the other side of the farm that I'm not even using, but not today. So we need to get up to, if we want to get another coop, once we have our first one upgraded to the big coop, we need to get up to about uh, 250 stone total. And I think I had something around like 130 in there. I probably should have paid better attention. So on our next lucky day, we should probably actually head back to the mines and continue to make a little progress in there. Um, otherwise, we're going to hit a stone bottleneck. <clears throat> it's kind of ironic that Leah's really easy if you throw a bunch of money around. Yeah, if you got enough money to buy salads, you got enough money to buy Leah's heart. 197, not bad, not bad. Are you using the axe? I was. I was using the axe. I was cutting down wood, I think. All right, here we go. Good luck day. Good luck day. The pickaxe? Yeah, I, um, I'm not going to sell anything I get from the mines, but I am still like using the mines, so. Which kind of like ruins my whole argument and everybody's saying like, you should be able to grow crops if it's, you know, if you're not making money and you're just doing it for your chickens, because that's literally what I'm doing at the mines, but yeah, we'll see. We will see. Let's get ourselves a little bit more copper, a little bit more stone. <clears throat> How much is the upgrade for the big coop? Is it 8,000? That is a lot of money right now. <laughs> uh, all right. Do we think about doing just another small coop first? And just forget about incubating eggs to start with? That might be a better option, honestly. 4K, 10K. Ugh. Okay. Well. Ten K. Yikes. I feel like maybe we just go ahead, um, slap down another barn once we hit the four K mark. I mean obviously we got we got one more chicken, right? Um, but after that. I think maybe after that, we don't worry about doing the upgrade right away. I'll want to do them eventually, right? But that could happen sometime in the future. It would be nice to save the 800 gold, but to have to spend an extra 6,000 just to save 800 gold every few days, uh, just doesn't seem really worth it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is there anything else on this level I really want? I guess we'll check this box. You could give me something decent, right? Some wood, all right, fantastic. Uh, another box, nothing. I think it's um, it's probably too late. I almost always get a wooden club up here if I make it this far on day five. I don't know exactly how this generates. I don't know if that's like a guarantee or if I just get like lucky with the seeding of my runs or what, but um, we have a lot of wood right now. Let's let, it, let that go. Uh-oh. 
that's not something we want to see. We don't want any bugs. Can I get some stairs? Just not even going to worry about it. Just not even going to worry about it. I think I'm going to have to worry about it pretty soon. There we go. The longer I play... Oh, I probably should have gone upstairs there. Um, the longer I play, the more I'm convinced that just ignoring enemies at the beginning of the game is the way to go. Like, I, oh, there's a freebie down here. I don't have a lot of HP, but they're not really doing a lot right now anyway, so... Just running through, taking that hit right to the face and moving on. I think it, that is the call in the early game, at least. Especially when your weapons are just so weak and it just takes so long to kill anything. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely need every single earth crystal we can find. I wonder how many mayo machines we'll end up having by the end of uh, by the end of all this. The real question is, will I ever get to a point where it's worth it to take my mayo machines off the farm? And, like, put them in the quarry or something else like that. Can you imagine? You know, like, having kegs up in the quarry, that's not super uncommon, I would say. I, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that's something I do in many games. Maybe not. But, um, mayo machines in the quarry? Oh, my gosh. That would be wild. Retaining soil is telling you to farm. I hate retaining soil with, like... Just like an unnecessary amount of passion too. What did it what did it do for all of that hatred? It's just I don't know. The chance that it could possibly stay watered when I already have to plan around watering everything, it, it's just kinda like pointless to me. It's just like the crop fairy messing up my uh, my field. Like I would almost rather have you not show up at all and not get the like free crops growing than to show up and ruin my layout. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb when you uh, say it out loud, but it's very true. I spent a lot of time thinking about where I wanted things and now you ruined it, crop fairy. be mayo madness I sure hope so all right one two three four perfectionist in you does not appreciate the fairy I guess I don't know if I would call that I, I would say more like the the neurotic in me maybe all right, big money, 150 gold overnight. I think we're we're well within striking distance if we get a good day today full of eggs because I think today is the day that I get all 3 eggs. If we get a good egg day today, actually no, I don't I don't think it's possible. I wanted to be optimistic. Oh, and we still have a chick anyway, so... Uh, no. No, and we had a terrible egg day. You guys are killing me. You're making me look like an idiot. Can't believe this. Egg stonks? Stocks only go up. Just like eggs. Alright. 
Let's see it. All right, good job, everybody. This is looking okay. We got 75, 170, 220, 320. Ooh, just shy. Just shy. I missed one. Like, missed a chicken? Oh. You got me all excited. Think it's time for a midday nap? All right. Have a fantastic nap. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, Leap, and also Y Beach Farm. Hello, Emperor. Uh, the reason we're on the beach farm is because I don't use it very often, and I thought it would be fun. Plus, we're not doing literally any farming, so... Since we don't need to plant any crops, this is a good one to pick for that. Uh, I guess I'll hang on to those for one more day. It's going to rain tomorrow, right? Which is kind of a bummer for our chickens. Um, they are not going to eat today, which is very sad for them. But on the other hand, since they ate yesterday, we will make enough money overnight that we can buy a new chicken tomorrow. Wait, actually, can you sell produce to Marnie? Can I sell eggs to Marnie? I mean, I could probably just go sell them to Pierre, right? I don't know that I have ever tried to sell anything to Marnie. Like, why would you? But I, I feel like I should just go ahead and do this today since it's not going to matter. I guess let's uh, let's go find out. Pierre will buy the eggs. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could just do that. I didn't really want to, like, deal with Pierre, but who does at the end of the day? So we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll sell those to him so that I can go ahead and buy another chicken today. And once we have a full house, I think, I think we'll actually call it pretty quick here. That's a good start. That's a first full small coop. And then next time, I think things will start picking up pretty quick. I don't know why I took that quest. I'm never going to fish up anything. I probably won't even go back to the beach. Ooh. I don't really need you, but that's exciting. Yeah, Abigail loves that, I guess. Marnie will buy animal produce? Okay. Hey, buddy, I got this for you. I know you don't love it, but I love you. All right, bye. Oh, nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> the trash has been very kind today. Pierre's almost always the last villager, villager I finished befriending. Yeah, Pierre's a tough one, actually. Pierre is, um... It's hard to get him loved gifts, so that does make it rather challenging. Let's go! Alright, just gonna T-pose on you there. Alright, fantastic! So, oh my gosh, our, uh, our last chicken tonight is actually gonna be my good friend, Lee, a 20-something loser. I don't think I can fit that in a name. If I did a uh, 20 something loser. No, if I do. Perfect. <laughs> All right, Lee. Well, uh, I know you're not here tonight because I believe you are streaming, but if you're watching this in the future, welcome to the flock. Congratulations. Thank you so much for supporting me uh, and the channel. And uh, what a great friend. I love Lee. She's a, she's a good noodle.
We'll go say hello to Lee, a 20-something loser. I think we already talked to the rest of the chickens. And then that is going to be it for tonight. Uh, just a reminder, I'm pulling all these names from my member and uh, Patreon supporter list. So if you want to be a chicken next time, which will be at the latest next Monday, you can uh, feel free to join for as little as a buck. And I'll put your name on the list. And you can be memorialized in this very, very dumb farm forever. But for tonight, that is going to be it. Hope you guys have a good evening. Hope you had some fun here. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.